So now we need to talk about something super important and something that I see, you know, especially beginner traders struggle with. And that is, of course, how do we draw our Fibonacci retracements correctly? So now we're back here inside TradingView and we are once again looking here at Bitcoin. And to draw your Fibonacci levels, remember, you want to go up here and make sure that you choose the Fibonacci retracement right here. And to draw your Fibonacci retracement in an uptrend, the first thing you need to identify is that you need to find a swing low and a swing high. So if we take a look at this chart right here, we can see that we have a swing low all the way down here and we have a swing high all the way up here. And here you actually have two different methods you can use to draw your Fibonacci. And the most important here, it doesn't really matter which method you choose. The most important part here is that you are consistent. So the first way here is to start your Fibonacci from the lowest wick, the lowest candlestick wick of the swing low. And you drag your Fibonacci up here to the highest point of the swing high, the highest wick and then you drag your Fibonacci here to the right. So this right here is the first method. The second method here is that you start your Fibonacci on the lowest candle close of the swing low and you drag your Fibonacci up here to the highest candle close of the swing high and then you drag your Fibonacci here to the right. And as you can see in this case the price went up, the price came down here to our Fibonacci area and then we exploded higher. Once again we can repeat this process, so right here we have a swing low, we have a swing high, swing low, swing high and so on and so on. And let's use the second method, so we drag from candle close to candle close. In this case you can once again see that the price came up here, we came down to our 0 0.382 to 0 0.5 and then the price went higher. Once again, we use our Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. And as you guys can see, once again, the price came up here, the price came down. This time we actually came down to the 0 0.618 to 0 0.5 level, and then the price saw a bounce here. So as I said, guys, you can either use week to week or close to close. It doesn't really matter too much, but make sure that you are consistent with your usage. So don't use week to week on one swing and then use close to close on another swing. Make sure that you are consistent with your own analysis. This video was just a short clip from our full Fibonacci trading course. So if you guys got the time, I highly recommend to click or tap on the screen right here to watch the full video. But for now, take care guys. Ciao, ciao.